Hi there! Do you want to learn Power Automate and simplify your workflows? In this video, I will share one of the lessons from my Power Automate module on my Udemy course. If you want to access the complete course, check the pinned comment below or become a channel member to unlock all the lessons. Let's get started! Hello and welcome to the first lesson about Power Automate. Power Automate is a tool that belongs to the Power Apps family, the Power Platform. And Power Automate is closely connected to Power Apps. Often, we create an app that allows us to input and manage data, but sometimes we want to perform specific actions when the records are created. For example, sending an email, sending a notification on Teams, generating a report, or we can do actions on specific times of the day or of the week, recurrent actions. Or maybe we want to trigger the actions without needing to open the app. And that's where Power Automate comes in handy. Here in the documentation, we can see all the family from the Power Platform. We have Power Apps that we just learned for building apps. And then we have Power Automate for building automations. Besides that, we also have Power BI for building dashboards and analyzing data. We have Power Pages for building external facing websites. For example, we can build a website for our customers to access and interact with our company's data. And we also have Microsoft Copilot Studio for building chatbots that now are called actually agents. Microsoft sometimes renames things. So let's get started understanding a little bit more about Power Automate. First, what's Power Automate used for and what's not used for? It's used for automating repetitive tasks. Imagine that every day you have to export some data and send to an email, for example. You can do that using Power Automate and don't need to do it manually. You can integrate different systems and applications. Imagine you just built an app that collects some data and you needed to insert this data in another system. If that system has an API, that's something we are going to learn later in the course. You can interact with that system using Power Automate and you can automatically insert data in there and also retrieve data from there to show and use in the, on your app. You can use it to facilitate workflows without needing to code because with Power Automate, we have building blocks that we assemble together and create an automation. And you can improve your productivity because you can automate these boring and repetitive tasks so you don't need to do it anymore. You can just watch it happening and do other things that are more important on your company. And what's Power Automate not used for? And that also fits for Power Apps. You are not going to use Power Automate to replace your systems, the entire systems. By that, I mean big and complex systems. Power Automate is for daily tasks, not for very complex tasks. You're not going to use it to perform complex data analysis and calculations. For that, we have Power BI, as I just mentioned, that's also in the same family. And you're not going to use it as a development platform for complex applications. Because it's also very important to know that we have limitations in Power Automate. And you are also not going to use it to process data in real time and in high demand because Power Automate works based on triggers and those take a couple from seconds to minutes to trigger sometimes. And if you really need that to happen in the moment that some event happens, then Power Automate may not be the best option. You always need to think, look at the limitations, and understand if they fit to your purposes. Usually what I like to say is that Power Automate should be used for something that you can do manually, but you want to automate. If you want to automate something that will do thousands of times during the day, I'd say that you cannot do that manually. So you cannot automate with Power Automate and you may need to go to something else that's dedicated to that purpose. In the next lesson, we are going to see what are the types of Power Automate flows and some scenarios where you can use them. See you in the next lesson.
Do you want to watch the classes without any interruptions? By becoming a channel member or purchasing the course, you can watch ad-free and support the future of my content creation. Check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get started. See you in the next lesson.